Let's get right into it. Once again, uh, Donald Trump had a busy weekend on Twitter after reports that there may have been an FBI informant in the Trump campaign in 2016. On Sunday, President Trump tweeted, I hereby demand that the Department of Justice look into whether or not the FBI slash DOJ infiltrated or surveilled the Trump campaign for political purposes. I hereby demand... <laughs> Who says that? <laughs> they didn't even say that at the royal wedding. No. <laughs> I, now, he's saying the FBI infiltrated his campaign. Now, is it just me, or does it seem like he's trying to take the focus off the time he infiltrated Stormy Daniels? <laughs> he might be. Trump said he remembers during the campaign there was one guy who was always lurking around, suspicious-looking, trying to undermine the campaign, and then his staff was like, Sir, that's Eric, he's your son. <laughs> In other White House news, Melania Trump has returned home from the hospital after five days following a routine kidney procedure. We're so glad she's doing OK. We wish her well. And President Trump welcomed Melania home by tweeting, great to have our incredible first lady back home in the White House. Melanie is feeling and doing really well. <laughs> He spelled his own wife's name wrong. <laughs> Although this did actually lift Melania's spirits. For a minute there, she was like, wait, did he get remarried? Oh, my God, I'm free! <laughs> a typo? <laughs> no! <laughs> Trump did catch the mistake and fix the tweet, but it was too late to fix the welcome home banner. <laughs> Moving on, today, the popular streaming service Netflix announced that they've signed a multi-year production deal with Barack and Michelle Obama. <laughs> now, with this television deal, it makes, that makes three things Obama will have that Trump can never win. An Emmy, a Nobel Pre Peace Prize, and the popular vote. <laughs> um, <laughs> Barack Obama said he only wanted to sign a one-year contract, but Netflix kept chanting, four more years, <laughs> four more years. And this was interesting. A couple in upstate New York is suing their 30-year-old son for refusing to move out of their house. <laughs> Seems like kind of a bad idea for them to sue him. They're going to have to pay both lawyers. <laughs> Now, a judge asked why he didn't just move in with his girlfriend, and the man said, Girlfriend, I'm a 30-year-old man living at home. Dude, there's no girlfriend. <laughs> and finally, in Japanese news, or as they call it in Japan, news, uh, <laughs> a railway company has announced that next month it will begin operating a Japanese bullet train that will be Hello Kitty-themed. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This is great for those busy, stressed-out seven-year-old commuters. <laughs> this is a big occasion. The bullet train was the last remaining thing in Japan that didn't have Hello Kitty on it. <laughs> now, look, whether you're for this or you're against this, I think we can all agree the Hello Kitty bullet train is a great name for a vibrator. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>